Not all of us are ever going to be the champion, but we can go the distance. We can put up a great fight. I see a lot of these motivational speakers telling you what you need to do and how you have to go out there and grab life and don't be afraid and go to the mountain. And when you get to that mountain, build another mountain and blah, blah, blah. Nothing's braver than knowing you're going to lose. You're going to take a beating. You're done. But if you stood up to this class bully, you did something that no one else had the guts to do. You want to leave some footprints, you know, on, on the canvas of life. And they don't have to be big ones. Everyone doesn't have to be a world champion. It's just the fact that you gave it your best. So that, that's the Rocky philosophy. He never expected to be a champion. He just wanted to go the distance and have a little dignity. And that's pretty much the ongoing theme. They come into you through millions of years of instinctual development, culturally, spiritually, in actual genetic development, they know how to push the maternal butt. I don't give it how tough you are. We all need it. To be a great man, you need to be nurtured in the proper way. Reinforced, pushed, validated, loved, and also reprimanded when you're not doing what you should do. God is a very, very strong element, a cohesive element. But there's always a but. You ever try praying to yourself? You put yourself in abeyance. Not in the mirror, but go, okay, this is what I want. You can call it positive reinforcement. There's so many different terminologies for that, but actually look at you, request something. If when you're in fear of something, I pray to you not to be afraid. I pray for you to be successful. I pray for you to have proper knowledge and sympathy for the planet in general to you, not something other, which is great, but narrowing it down to you praying to you, I think is an interesting concept. Keep punching. I've, I've known a lot of people that are, in real life are not so nice, but the perception is incredible. They're very smart. They didn't go toe to toe. They went around, they navigated. They went left when you expect to go right. They went low when you expect to go high and vice versa. Instead of throwing a roundhouse hook, they walked away. They go, oh, wow, well, I thought he was gonna unload on me, no? And right away you put people at ease and then you get your point across. Like Apollo Creed says, be a thinker not a stinker. Use your brains to get ahead and not your muscles. Be tactful, clever, ingenious. Even the guys that were are billionaires, they started out as underdogs. No one gave it to them. Someone in the family perhaps had to earn it and pass it on. But that first one, the guy that went into the unknown, unprepared, but prepared mentally, but perhaps unprepared for what was going to uh, come at him from so many different directions. And when I say that come at him, I mean those obstacles that wanted to defeat him, including his own fear. And they were overcome. So as Rocky would say, it ain't over till it's over.